One of the main requirements of tshuva is the idea, the concept of tshuva samishko, which means an equal measure of tshuva. So if we've done something wrong in the past, the only way now to make amends and to return to Hashem is to do, to go in a situation that equals the challenge that we had in the past and to act differently this time. That's the idea of Tshuva Samishko. It's a requirement in order that it should be considered, our Tshuva should be considered a proper Tshuva. Now what Rabbi Nachman is explaining over here is when it comes to thought, how do I do Tshuva Samishko? All those times that I've thought the thing that I wasn't supposed to think, when I had a really evil thought, a bad thought, a negative thought, a thought of jealousy, a thought of taiva, of pleasure, illicit pleasure, all those kinds of situations, what is the tshuva samishbo? How can I go back and offer an equal measure of tshuva, of, of corrective behavior for those situations? And Rabbi Nachman explains that that happens through having the thought all over again. When we think again that nasty thought, that negative thought, we need that thought because we cannot correct, we cannot correct our ways and move forward without the tshuva samishko, without the equal opportunity of challenge that we had in the past. So there's an idea that's become very popular in science now. It's called neuroplasticity, which means that our brains are like plastic. People used to think that the brain was very, very stale. You were created with a certain type of brain and, and that's the way the brain worked. And what we've seen through research, this is an ongoing process, but the research keeps on proving more and more and more that the brain is actually living and it's changing all the time. And that's really the way it is with thought as well. Our brain is a certain way. In order for us to change, we have to have this tshuva, of, of tshuva samishko, which is like a neuroplastic tshuva. We have to go back to that place and then we have to choose something different. We have to have a different thought. So if we had a negative thought and then we rewire our brain by thinking something positive, Torah, Tvila, Mitzvah, Simcha, even Parnasa, all these types of things, the way to change the brain is to go back to that situation, rewire it by thinking something differently. This is not a process that happens right away, even in science and certainly spiritually, it takes time. But the worst thing we can do is to feel bad. Because this is really a blessing, it's an opportunity. When we have a bad thought, if we think something bad, we're just giving negativity to that situation. We're stuck still in that frame of mind. What we need to do is accept that this is an opportunity from Hashem to rewire our brain and to become completely different people. When we embrace this situation and we start to think differently, and instead of feeling bad, we say, thank you Hashem for the opportunity now to rewire my brain. If we think that way and we're persistent, we will have a new brain, a new way of thinking, and a new way of life. Have a wonderful day.